Hey Capricorn, it's about that time for your love reading. I already shuffled the decks, already cleansed them. I cleansed it with some Palo Santo, which you can purchase off the link in my description box, which is my website. You can also purchase the Mass Feelings Oracle deck that I created um, through the same link, and you can also book your personal readings through that same link. But I'm gonna get started on your reading. Make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all hit that like button. I will be doing a giveaway once I get to a thousand subscribers. The past giveaways that I did was like one giveaway, I mean one winner each giveaway. But this one is going to have three winners and each winner is gonna have a different prize or gift from the other. So definitely make sure you subscribe. Make sure I hit that like button, please and thank you. But I'm gonna go ahead and see what is going on in your love life, Capricorn. What's going on in your love life currently? Okay, so many cards just flew out. You could be dealing with the Leo. What is going on in your love life currently? So many cards again. All right, so a lot could be going on or you could have a lot of feelings hitting you. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands. Yes, yeah, a lot going on in your mind. You're thinking about a lot. Something happened recently with the Tower card and I feel like with the Sun card, you're trying to keep a positive mindset, a positive outlook. Now, um, the strength card came out, but I put it back in because it came out with a bunch of cards and now the sun card. So you definitely could be dealing with a Leo, but I definitely see that there's a lot going on in your mind right now regarding a connection or regarding your love life in general. And with the sun card, it's like you're trying to be positive. You're trying to keep a positive mindset, but you could feel like it's always something going on or you're feeling like, you know, you're trying to keep a positive outlook or mindset because it's just so much shit going on it's like damn let me just at least think positive clarification on the tower card okay i'm not even gonna take those clarification on the tower card so it has to do with someone that you've been with for a while or someone from your past you may have ended things with someone or things may have ended with it could even be a friendship truthfully but it looks like something may have ended nine of discs came out with the hierophant you could be dealing with the taurus as well so it looks like things may have ended due to someone wanting to live the single life possibly hmm. i just see that things may have ended or things is changing in a connection a connection that you've been in for a while all right let's see what else is going on We're going to see how your person feels about you, Capricorn. How does Capricorn's person feel about the Capricorn? Whoever it is that they're dealing with or is on their mind, how are they feeling towards the Capricorn? Alrighty. Oh, wow. These cards came out again. I'm not even going to take that. Let me shuffle this. So I see the way your person feels about you. I honestly see that they either can't let you go mentally or they just don't want to let you go in general. Let me shuffle this thing. It looks like they can't let you go in general, but considering those two cards that came out, it's like they feel as if you may want to be single or you may feel better being alone. How does Capricorn's person feel about the Capricorn? I see that they don't want to let you go. They want to stick things out with you, but it's like it's so much arguing or so much drama going on between you two that it's like they don't know what to do or what like they don't know how to fix the connection basically um i see that they have a lot of thoughts in their mind as well on how to fix the connection or how to better things but i definitely see that they don't want to let you go or they're mentally stuck on you um but i definitely see there's drama there's conflict and that has them at a, at a crossroads like okay should i keep trying should i give up like what should i do next clarification on the five of swords yeah, this is someone you've been dealing with for a while. You could have known them since you were young. Once again, they feel as if you want to be single. They feel as if you want to live the single life. It's like they want to be with you. They want to be the four of wands. They want to be together. They want to be happy. But they feel as if you'd rather be by yourself. It could also be like, let's say you two have been together for like years or a while. They could view you as someone who's getting tired of them or getting tired of the connection, getting tired of being in a relationship and they're they could be viewing you as someone who wants to now live the single life but i definitely see that um this is someone that you've been with for a while 
or someone that you've known for a while. Like, let's say you two just started talking, but y'all could have known each other and been friends for a while. But I see there's a lot of history between y'all, but they view you as someone who may want to just live the single life and let things be. I see that they want the four of wands. They want to stick things out with you. They want to make it work, but they're viewing you as wanting to be single. How else does Capricorn's person feel about you, Capricorn? Y'all could be in separation, whether it be physically or mentally. But the first card that came out is our time apart opened my eyes. So I see that the time apart that you two um, are going through right now or recently is starting to open their eyes of, okay, I really don't want to lose this person. I really don't want to let things go. Like, I want to continue working on the connection. I miss you came out. I see that this person is thinking about you heavily. They miss you and they miss sleeping with you. They miss the intimacy, the intimacy of you two sleeping together. They may even miss having sex if y'all haven't been having sex. Um, it looks like they're missing that, but they're definitely missing you. They're definitely thinking about you. At the bottom of the deck is I want to apologize to you. So whatever they did in the past, especially with that tower card, they want to apologize and they want to make things right. But I see that they don't know if they should because once again, they view you as someone who wants to live the single life. They may even see you as someone who has a lot of options and that could be um, like getting in the way of them fully being vulnerable. It's like, okay, I don't want to be vulnerable. And then this person still ends up dealing with other options. All right, Capricorn. This is a tad bit similar to the Sagittarius reading. Just a bit. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Alrighty. So Capricorn, how do you feel about this person? How does Capricorn feel about this person? So I see that you you want to work on it. You honestly want to work on it with your person. Um, You could be dealing with an Aquarius with the star card. So you want to work on it. Once again, the Hierophant is at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Taurus. But Eight of Discs, the Star, and the Four of Wands. I definitely see that you want to work on things with your person. But with the star card, it's like you have hope. You have hope for the connection. You have hope that you two can stay as the Four of Wands or become the Four of Wands. But it's like, hmm. See, you two feel the same exact way. The Two of Cups, I just shuffled and the Two of Cups literally just flew out. I see that you two feel that same way, but it's something getting in the way of the connection. What's getting in the way of Capricorn and their person? What's getting in the way of Capricorn and the person they're dealing with? See, someone feels like the love is unrequited. Someone feels like they're not receiving what they're giving. Someone feels left in the dust, left in the dark. Someone feels like the connection is going downhill. Considering this is how you feel about your person, this is how you're feeling. But um, I say you feel left in the dust or left in the dark. You feel like, like this person may even leave you. You feel like they may eventually abandon you. But I see that you want to take a chance and continue this connection. But it's like you're not... You're not really letting that be known, honestly. You're not letting that be known, but it's because you're you're hesitant on being vulnerable because you don't want it to be a waste, basically. I see. It's like you two are both afraid of losing one another. Okay. How else does Capricorn feel about their person? Oh, you want to apologize as well. How ironic. This came out for your person. Well, it was at the bottom of the deck for your person. How they feel about you. And now it's here for yours. All right, let's see what else comes out. Yeah, some of you could definitely be in separation. Once again, whether it's physically or mentally. So I want to apologize to you and I don't want to be apart anymore. You want to apologize for whatever you whatever part you played and i see it's like you're missing your person you don't want to be apart anymore it's like being apart is making you feel a bit stressed and it's making you lose hope in the connection like it's making you lose hope 
and then I look for you everywhere. You tend to look for your person, whether it be, you know, watching them on social media, seeing what they're posting, seeing what they're liking, or um, even keeping tabs on them through like friends or family. But for so, for a good amount of y'all, y'all are in separation. We have I Miss Sleeping With You at the bottom of the deck. That came out for your person and now it's at the bottom of the deck for you. So some of y'all could really be in separation, but I see that you miss sleeping with your person as well. You miss the intimacy of doing that. It's like you miss being intimate with your person. It may not even be sexual. Like it may not even be, you know, the sexual intimacy that you miss. It's just the touching, the feeling, the caressing, like not sexually, but just intimately. All right, let's see the outcome. Let's see the outcome for you and this person. And then I'm gonna pull some charms. So what is the outcome between Capricorn and this person that they are dealing with? Okay, that's so many cards, it just flew out. So I see that you two are gonna communicate, but someone is still gonna have their guard up. I see that y'all really need to be vulnerable with each other, honestly, but I see things going pretty well. Well, not even pretty well, but I see things, I don't know, okay. I see things going pretty well as in you two are gonna openly communicate about each other's feelings. But with the four of wands, it's like, I see you two waiting for each other, honestly. Clarification on the Prince of Wands. The Emperor flew out, you could be dealing with an Aries. I see that someone wants to rush into a relationship, but the other, someone else, whether it's you, Capricorn, or your person, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I see that someone wants to rush into a connection. But with the Four of Wands, it's like someone else wants to pace themselves. Someone else wants to wait and see how things go, how things play out naturally. But even if you two were to stay in separation, I see that y'all are going to wait on each other, honestly. The song that I got in my head is Your Mind Still by Young Blue. We have the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You two are going to reconcile. You two are definitely going to reconcile if you are in separation. Um, oh, Ten of Discs. You two are going to reconcile and you two are going to express that you two want stability. You two want a relationship. But you guys really have to be open. Don't hide anything. Don't. All right, let me not share this bit because I don't want to seem like a sucker or I don't want to seem like this. I don't want to seem like that. No, definitely be vocal and open with your person because I see that you two really want to be in each other's lives. You two really want to be something, but you two just have to speak on it. It's like y'all are indecisive. It's like you don't want to give too much of yourself. Y'all are afraid of giving too much of yourselves. It's like not even afraid of giving too much of yourselves, but it's like afraid of doing that and then it not working out. It's like, okay, what was the point of doing that then? It's like you two just don't want things to end, honestly. All right, let me get these charms. So I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna mix it up. Okay. Did I get anything? <laughs> Y'all just might roast me in the comments for that one. I'm dead. All right, so we got the key and the lock. See, someone is guarded, but someone else is willing to open up. Someone else is willing to be open. But it's good that we even have the key and the lock because that lets me know that, yeah, Capricorn, whether it's you or your person, someone is guarded, yeah, but soon enough, you're going to have the key to unlock that. Soon enough, you're going to have the key to make this person vulnerable or help this person be comfortable enough to be vulnerable with you. So it's like, yeah, someone has their guard up. Yeah, someone is hesitant, but they won't be for long. Um, with the star card, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. But with the star card, that definitely lets me know that the feelings is strong. It's like you two look at each other in a positive light. You two look at each other um, very highly. Like y'all y'all hold each other in a, in a high self-esteem, high esteem. Um, but someone is just guarded that's the only issue so with the prince of swords don't be guarded don't have you know your wall up don't be quick to you know shut the conversation down because you don't want to be vulnerable definitely be open definitely be vulnerable definitely speak about what it is that you want and how you're feeling for the both of y'all 
but i hope you guys enjoyed this reading make sure y'all like once again make sure y'all subscribe i will be doing a giveaway once i get to a thousand subscribers if you would like to book your personal readings you can do so through the link in the description box and i also have healing crystals sage palo santo all types of things on my website so make sure y'all check that out and thank you for watching you guys